Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening. Today is September 20th, 2018. Uh, it's the Environmental Conservation Board. We have uh, an agenda that we want to follow. And the first item is Gladys Pickman, 86 West Lake Boulevard. Please state your name. And Robert you? Weber. Um, I'm here representing the Pickmans. And we'll probably do the one with the tarp. Oh, the, well, it's uh, the roof that A tarp collapsed. is a very small part of it, yes. Right. Is yes. the tree that hit the yes. roof? Yes. yes. Yep. The last time you were here, well, you asked for sort of like a summary. I of have a summary of work that we had asked for, and no summary work procedures were followed. Yeah, so Did everyone receive a copy of the procedures? Yeah, I have no issue with this. Anything else? All right. He had, uh, I think you, we're going to give you a letter of maintenance, right? A uh, letter of per permission? Letter of permission. Yes. Maintenance. All right. So I have the deed. I have his application. He shows me he's putting the boathouse of the pictures. I'm good with that. Are you? Just give me one sec. Also, the last time he was here, uh, Robert. What? Three the last weeks. time you were here. Three weeks, three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. August. August. Nope. Nope. Sorry. Um, 16th. 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 Yeah. Sequence of construction. Yeah, he gave us that. Place repair rules. Here's the deed. Planks, tarping, the floating boom, yeah, the, the outline. Floating boom outside. He's good. Tarp on the interior. The deed, right? Yes, That's and right. yeah, usually good. we okay. set up the scaffold, even though it's only one story. It's right. very low. It's safe work. Yeah. Yes. We'll place that front of the boathouse. That's fine. Okay. Well. Do I have a motion to approve? Okay. Right, so just uh, sequence of instruction. Boom on the drawing. These are notes from last time. Mm -hmm. He has a boom on this drawer right here. Okay. You have to show a boom. Can I, can I yeah, show you it? You can draw it in here. I have, I have one. I can oh, let me have that then. Yeah. Anyone borrow a pen? Just initial it too. Cover inside of the... We did that. Yep. Debris carted away. No heavy equipment. Anything that's yeah, no heavy equipment. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Hey, you want yours back? All right. So, do I have a motion to accept the letter of permission, letter of maintenance, letter of permission? I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You're approved. All right. Thank you. Good luck, All right. Robert. Uh, when you're um, when you put the boom in. Are you doing this during the week or on the weekend? Okay, when you put the boom in the lake during the week, just notify the town engineer that you put the boom in just to let him verify that it's installed. Okay? Yes. Thank you. Thanks. Same thing with Good when luck. you remove it. When you're done with the project, before you remove the boom, when you finish the project, give the town engineer a call again. He'll come say, yep, you're good. You can take the boom out. All right. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Next item, the retreated Carmel, HOA, Inc., lot four. Oh, the, uh, pigeon putt. the old pigeon putt. Is that why it's in CCTV? Yeah. <laughs> Is this the final solution to this issue? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> it's the final solution. Final frontier. Yeah. Yeah, no. yeah, no. 
Please state your name. Uh, this is the retreat. It's for Blair Heights. It's uh, relinquishment of the pitch and putt. Okay. I am Paul Lynch from Putnam Engineering. Has the work started already, Paul? No. <laughs> uh, this is the HOA, the Homeowners Association. Uh -huh. oh, they, are the, they are the applicants. They are the applicants. It's not yes. Pulte. Wow. Look at that. Yes. Retreat at Carmel, <sighs> HOA, Inc. Yeah. And they have the required deed, the permission from the... You have the permission from the... Uh, Who are you looking for? I missed that. I'm are you sorry. looking for the police station? Court? Court? It's not tonight. You may have to go around to the back of the building and talk to the officer. Yeah, the downstairs. Desk. I saw them, but they say no. They, uh, he called us from here, and he said uh, we are uh, here outside, but I didn't see him. Well, we don't have, um, this is not court, ma'am. This is the ECB. No, call, okay. Not Normally the court is during the day. Or that. I, I don't want to know what they call because it's how it's you know what? You should go downstairs around by the police department. They might be able to help you because this is the Environmental Conservation Board. Okay. 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 Oh, that's oh, the Putnam county. county. That's, that's the Putnam county. county. That's up Route that? Six. On Route Six in Carmel. Just keep going up the road. You know that's, this is the other, right? Yeah. 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 You know where you, George is? You, uh, you've got like seven miles. Is? Seven miles. Six miles that way. Up it's six. over there. Because we have a case over there. That's why we pay the bill for, for the bond for immigration. So they pick call him for Orange County, and they pay the bill case. Yeah. Okay. Well, I wish well, I could help you, but we can't. Yeah, you, you have to go up the road. Yes. Go down Route 6 and the courthouse. You know where George's is, the, the restaurant? She's not, you're not from around it's here. It's on the right. It's in the back. Well, this is that's it. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. Correct. Exactly the address. Okay. Good luck. You're going you're gonna to pass. You're going to pass two churches. Two churches. On your right. Okay. Then they're going to have. There's going to be a BFW building. Okay. And then there's a road that you make that right, and it brings you right to the courthouse. It'll be it's right there. It's in the there back. It's a big building. Thank okay. You. You're welcome. Yeah. No, you have no, to go, go that go way. That way. Do you have a deed in there? This, this, this job's already cursed, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just throwing it out there. Um, this does not involve the disturbance of any wetland or wetland buffer. The, 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 the request is to remove what's been installed. Right which would basically be the fencing. Um, there's, I think there's three different types. I think you've got like an eight-foot-tall stockade, uh, stockade fence. fence. Then there's a, a, the vinyl white um, uh, post and rail fence, mm -hmm. which runs around the, uh, the wetland itself. 16. And then on the back side, I think there's like a 16-foot-tall steel Holes. Netting. Holes netting with the netting for the, right. you know, to stop the, the balls. golf balls from going on the adjacent neighbor's okay. lawn. So that would come down also. And there's also a footbridge that crosses over the stream that outlets from the pond. That's coming out so too? The proposal is to just take that all out and let Mother Nature just reclaim the land. Are you going to, uh, are you going to actually uh, scrape the, the top topsoil or, or the uh, the vegetation on top or just let it grow just let it grow let I nature I, do its thing I sent you some pictures uh -huh. and, and I think yeah no, what's no, out no, there it's plenty of if they stop mowing the grass and everything that what's out there is just gonna expand. take over you sent yeah. pictures to yeah he, he, to the board as part of the application they're right here, they're right oh. here. Black and white, this is very retro. Yeah, yeah, you know, just a couple <laughs> of these copies too. Pass them down. Where'd you get them from? They're all in here. So this is what it looks like now. what are you like looking now. for, a letter That's of That's what it looks like now. I don't know. Um, 
Right now we have an application in front of the planning board to construct a park on the other side of the hill. As part of our application with the planning board, uh, it's a passive park. Just walk this has nothing to do with this. No, it's got nothing to do with this. Is, with this. this is but as part of that process, the planning board says, well, what are you going to do with the, the... You're disturbing seven square feet, I read by your letter. I mean, it's it, so negligible. You just, you just, no, it's a little bit more. Because you're, the, you're pulling out the posts. The thing concerned about is... is uh, but they wanted to know what we were going to do with the <laughs> construction of the project, not afterwards. What's so like the handicap here? There's nothing. I, I don't know. I, you're, not I, doing, I, you're not using heavy equipment, right? No. All by hand. What about the pretty much all by hand. Big holes you're digging out. They got they're concreted in or no? I assume. So is all. The con that, that's just going to that, that would just get burnt off. I think the, if if they're cemented into the ground, yeah, they'll go out there with a torch. And just burn it flush. They'll, they'll get out leave. there with a sawzall and they'll cut leave it. it. Leave flush it. cut. And walk away. So what do you There's want? A maintenance or are you going for a full blown application? I mean this is you're not doing anything. You're not disturbing well, the wetlands. Ju you're just restoring it. Are you carting anything out? Any material? Any like stock? Yeah, all the old fence. Oh, sure, fence, whatever. But, but no but material. No, there's material. no there's no, no dirt, no No. No. No item four is in no, there. It, it was. It was. Uh, I was directed to come here, with the thought process being that we needed a permit to do this. You need something. It's probably just. I think you're right. I think it's I think probably just, just a letter, letter from me. Oh, I can't. Let me just read through this. Permit. Wait. So we're, removal of that bridge, though. <laughs> well, you come. You want more, and we're giving you less. Is that what's throwing you off? <laughs> no. I, <laughs> Unless we want to go for a full-blown swip. <laughs> I think you need six figure, square feet. Six you square feet. It. You better get, submit a big swip. Uh, how are you going to remove that? Uh, how are you going to remove the um, uh, walkway, the bridge? How are you going to remove the bridge? Sawzall, go cut it up well, and take it, it out. It's sitting on it's sitting on a concrete a base, so the concrete's going to stay. You just pick, concrete staying? You're just okay. going to pick the bridge up and remove it. Post, mm -hmm. bold, Probably knitting, six panels, six bridge. early men can Perfect. take that out. We put that in the specs. So. It's really bad. Um, you know what we'll do? I, see anything I would love to just give you a letter of maintenance. I truly would. But I know I'm going to have to go the full gamut. Right? Yes. Based on the history we've had here, yes. we might as well just go full in. So I've looked at the drawings. I mean, they're... They're beautiful plans for a lot of little work. So, I mean, I don't have any issues. You, you, are there um, wetland markers out there already? Or are you going to proposing to put them in? They are probably on the vinyl fencing. Okay, so then I didn't I didn't bushwhack in to see that they were actually physically installed several years ago. All right, I so assume then they are. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to suggest we accept the application for a permit, okay? Put him on the clock. There's, he, he's putting silt fence in to take out fence posts. Well, this, I'm not proposing to put up any silt fence. That, that's the original approved plan. Oh, you I just, oh, I see. I gave you do the plan. Do you the have a note in here about what's what being removed on this plan? It's just what I described to you in, in the, in the, so Let this the is the site plan existing. Yes. Right. Everything that is here is actually on the site right now. As, as far as I can tell. Except for overgrown stuff, that's fine. Yeah. On here, there's nothing that delineates what's actually going to be removed. Yeah, can you just, on t by Monday, send us a drawing, I'll just bubble out, what's bubble coming out. out what's coming out. We'll do that. And then this way we're, we're clear yeah. and they'll de facto get it over to rose and then um we also need a i didn't see any letters in here i could be wrong i thought i looked through the whole packet though indicating that either the hoa or so there's no deed that i noticed you didn't submit a deed did you we well, i need i need to know that the people who own this property are okay with it Somehow, letter from Pulte. Well, they have a, 
The homeowners? They own it. The homeowners actually own it. The homeowners they actually want own this it. to be Here? done. Yes. There's a deed. Okay. Yeah. Condominium ownership. Is the rain gone going to remain? That would stay. Whatever, what, what, whatever's been planted. Yeah, I just, yeah, the, I, I, what you're going to give us, what's going to be removed. E er, okay. Yeah, everything is staying other than. The sand bunkers the, will stay. They will stay. And they will be overtaken in time. All right, so this is what we need from you, Paul. I need a drawing marked up delineating what you bubble out, what you've taken out. We just need a letter from the Homeowners Association or somebody, the management company, or yeah. somebody saying that they. Well, the president signed the application. Yeah, I know, but. I'll get you the letter. Yeah, just get us a letter, and then. On, on their letterhead. On their yeah. letterhead. And that's it. OK. All right, so do I have a motion to accept the application? for the retreat at Carmel HOA for lot four to relinquishment of a pitch and putt uh, with the following two exceptions. Uh, drawing to be resubmitted, bubbling out the areas that are being removed, and a letter from the HOA or management company authorizing the HOA to do this work. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. That's the fastest application acceptance you ever got. Hey, Paul, so this was a, we accepted the application. I think when, when you come back, when we grant the application, one thing, other thing I'd like to see on this too is something about the wetlands inspector seeing the act after he removes everything, him going out there. Well, we're giving him a permit. Right. So as part of the permit, part of the permit we'll, we'll just we'll make sure that you get the wetland inspector to inspect it upon completion. Yeah. Great. That's fine. Actually, we'll send Vince oh. out. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's a good idea. He's available, right? And uh, listen, uh, the courthouse is down the road on the right. About six miles. <laughs> See ya. Paul. Next is Paul and Maria Myers, 56 Sycamore Road, demolish existing home and construct modular home. For some reason. I'll be that easy, I guess. <laughs> Excuse me? Might be so easy. We should hope. Um, but Benny Paul Leto. took all the good out of us. Uh, Benny Leto representing West, uh, the Myers from Westchester Modular Homes. Uh, my understanding is they actually had a wetlands permit in years past to do some renovations. They ended up getting um, some pretty outrageous numbers to renovate the existing home, so that they've decided to switch gears and take the house that's there down and rebuild a, a brand new home. Years past? Do you I know think how it was many years passed? I think it was 2014. It was a few years ago. I do know it, it was a few years 2016. ago. 2016. 2016. Paul and Maria Myers, we had given them a permit. Uh, show well and septic on drawings. Please note that no motor, motorized equipment shall be used. When was that? I right? signed it. May 5th, 2016. Sealed. Done. April, May But I've, 5th. I'm a lot crankier <laughs> than in 18 than I am in 16. <coughs> Myers. Uh, at that time, they deck and partial second floor. Mm -hmm. So now they're changing gears. Okay, so so this permit has expired. Yep. So we're looking at a brand new application. Mm. The whole Megilla. Correct. Okay, perfect. We, we paid the fee. We just need uh, just for the file right now. Uh, Let's see if it's in the old file. We just need a, a deed. We have a deed. Yep, you got it. One. Good. All right, so let us know what you want to do. So we have uh, the site plan on top showing the existing conditions. It shows where the existing house is, um, you know, walkway, parking area, driveway, and then um, you know, an asphalt, uh, oh, I'm sorry, masonry stone walkway going out to the, to the docks and everything. Um, and then if you look below, you can see the outline of the existing home. It's, it's, you have to kind of look at where it is. We moved the house over because the existing house is non-conforming. Um, so we moved it to conform with zoning. If you look at the side yard setback, we had to push it over a little bit to see that it has like a little bit of an angled um, property line. Um, other than that, the house is no closer to the lake than the existing one was and um, everything else is meeting zoning, which obviously we're not here for, but we're in compliance as for the building department. And you have a, a single row of silt fence around the entire property. Yep. 
You are reusing the existing well. Correct. You, okay. So, uh, existing SDS to be reused, that's yep. in lieu of a um, rain garden, correct? You're using the SDS for credit on that? I, I don't know. Well, because here's the, the problem. So you're taking the house down, right. right? So now you're putting up a new house, a new home. So there has to be some sort of wetlands mitigation based on the roof. Okay. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to, have to calculate the area of the roof. Just the roof or any other impervious Well, any surfaces? other impervious surfaces so, as you're installing. That's going to be permanent. Okay. And then that number translates into a um, either a rain garden or some sort of wetland mitigation. Now, could it be a Coltec, or does it does it have to be a surface uh, rain garden? It could something? be uh, it could be a wet it could be a rain garden. It could be a, um, a Coltec. Filtrator. So it just has to be Infiltrate. some sort of uh, stormwater wet. management system. System. Swip. Swip. Okay. Well, and that's the other thing. So are you digging? The area of disturbance is less than five thousand square feet. Yep. So I need to have that. Less than five thousand. Yes. No, I understand, but you just have to provide a calculation. We have it. The, it shows the square footage that we have uh, being disturbed. I would only say it's 4,000 and change. Uh, you have uh, a single family dwelling with garage. Yes. You include the decks, two decks, the porches. So the deck actually in, is included in the impervious. It's yeah. included, yes. You have to include that. How many bedrooms? Uh, four. What was the existing house? Four. It's existing. And using the same uh, set. And the health department is obviously going to have to sign off on the bedroom count. We understand that. Okay. So now, deck you're porch. not going to have to do, if you have to do test pits for the, if they, if they sign off with what you have, great. If they say, well, we want to do test pits, you have to come back here. I've never had them. No, I know. I'm do just. That, but I'll, I'll just let you know. All right. Perfect. Um, now, what about the existing impervious does that count toward anything or am i considering that a blank slate like those sidewalks the walkways yeah. are you touching the driveway them? the existing house that we're ripping out down like do i count that am I, my my question is am i counting the net increase in impervious or am i counting the, the entire impervious the, you're counting the net impervious the net impervious of I, the uh you, know, you have pluses and minuses right so, I get that. I just, you know, some towns end up giving me, uh, you know, say the house right there, say, pick a number, it was 1,000 square feet, and the new uh, footprint was 1,500. I would only be counting 500 in that, count, in that calculation versus um, 1,500 in total. Well, well, that would be new 1,500. That would be a new 1,500. So it doesn't matter. That would matter. be sort of fresh. Just, gonna go just go out. based on what's new. Yeah. Got it. But like that sidewalk? The yeah. driveway that's existing, I assume I can count that. I don't have to count that, right? I don't uh, think so. No. Okay. So that's anything new. that's added, I don't count. Uh, forget about the houses that, that's being taken down. I, I assume I can't use that. Are you are you disturbing the sidewalk south of this house, or that's staying no. in place? I mean, that's you know, just staying I, it, there. A little bit. If if the excavator ends up having an overdig, that's about it. That's if you were ripping that out and putting that in, you would count that. Got it. If it was new construction, but since you're not disturbing that, okay, you don't count that. Got it. But all the new construction of impervious. Looks like a porch, two decks, or two porches, two decks. And if my engineer, he couldn't make it tonight, has any uh, specific questions, who would he, uh, would it be the town engineer? He would town engineer. Okay. And, okay. and if you're over, if you hit the magic number of 5,000, 5, we'll keep it under. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make sure we squeeze <laughs> at a lot of time. Right, the other thing is I see you have a spill kit location and an anti-tracking pad. You're going to need to, st are you taking this down with a full swing? It's going to be an excavator. Just okay, the same so machine that's going to be digging the hole. You have to Sunday store Sunday. the excavator. We, we show a location the for the excavator on the tracking on pad. On the tracking pad. We do it on a, you know, a gravel. Or well, no. When you park it at night, yep. you park it on poly. Poly? Poly Polyurethane. Sheet. Uh, sheet. Just a yeah. sheet of plastic. Thick mill because if plastic. It has, plastic. If it has any leaks or drips or anything, at least it doesn't go into the surface. And that has to be done on nightly. Yeah. So that needs to be a note. Got it. No problem. And you also have to show the f this fueling area 
and give us a fueling detail. For the excavator? Yeah. If you you're going to have a truck, have, but I don't know. I you're going to have a truck. We have a truck that has a You're going to bring the machine the out, to the road, out to the edge where the track is. Got it. So I just have to show it. on the it. poly. Thanks. And show it on here where the fueling area is going to be. That's the hill. As it exists. Now. As it exists. Yeah. So how is... Uh, so that old driveway is going to stay, and you may lose some of this. I mean, yeah, you should be well within the 5K. Where... It, where are all the gutters, I assume? Where are all the leaders going to go? Um, they actually existing, um, you know, the existing home uh, it has a catch basin that they're going to on the driveway, and that's where we're going to redirect everything. Obviously, if we end up having to put a, some sort of stormwater management system in, I would assume we'd probably be putting it there. And my guess today, considering the location of the septics, uh, the septic, rather, the um, Underneath the driveway is probably where my engineer is going to pro be proposing to put the stormwater management system. If it's a rain garden, it'll probably be in the front yard somewhere. Uh, where uh, is the, the existing porch. septic? And when you do the, uh, uh, it's right over here. In the, I'm sorry. Okay. It's not shown on. Right about here. Can you show? Can you just put a note on? Yeah, the, show that on the drawing. Uh, with the septic, uh, prior to start of work, you need to mark out the fields, mark out the area. And you're not going to have an excavator drive on that, right? Well, mm, that's a great question. What happens if there's nothing on file showing exactly where the fields are? I mean, I don't want to dig up. You the, know where the tank is. I know where the tank is, but I don't know where the fields. Don't I, I don't know if I do or not. I just want to see if the health department doesn't have anything on record. I'm not going to be disturbing anything. I understand, but just make sure you're not driving an excavator. Yeah, no, no, no. The we tank. definitely won't. No problem. Uh -huh. So I'll show I'll, I'll show where the existing uh, tank is, the fields are. And then I'll, I'll try to show where the fields actually, you know, whatever they have on record, I'll put it on. The catch the basin in the driveway yep. discharges right to the lake? In all honesty, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't tell you. Um, I, I wouldn't be Sycamore surprised Road. considering yeah. the house uh, yeah, was built yeah. in the... Where is this? Sycamore? Sycamore. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they have an oil I wouldn't tank be surprised, but I don't know. The uh, house is currently being heated by oil or gas? Uh, currently, it's... Oil. Oil. There's no right, gas. So there's no gas on the. When you, they take the old tank out and they Except dispose the of the the oil, you're going to use a probably a, uh, a fuel oil removal company. Oh yeah, yeah. I am not licensed to do that, so they'll end up doing. So that. you'll have a company come and remove it. So Absolutely. just provide after the uh, tank is removed, just provide us a letter. Yep. It's under a 275. It's a 275 probably. Just. Uh, a note on here about a note that. on here about watch out for the oil tank. Okay. And it should be removed with a back truck, and the back truck should suck it out. Tank should be cleaned. Do we Probably want it disposed of? Okay. We, what what note do we want about the oil tank on here? Remove oil tank in accordance with the EC requirements. Okay. Do you want me to Even put though that you're on not the plan under the D what? Do you want me to put that on the plan? Yeah, just okay. <laughs> Even though you're not, and show the location on the existing building. Is it interior or exterior? Interior. Tank? It's in the foundation. It's in the basement. It's in the foundation. Okay. They have a basement here. Yeah. Are you digging that up too? Yeah, it's a new uh, foundation. New foundation, new everything. Bringing any fill in? No, unless I find unsuitable materials, uh, which I couldn't tell you until we start digging. Uh, but anything that we would bring in would be, you know, bank and gravel or something that yeah. would be very well uh, suited for for drainage. Are you? How are you doing the this, the um, foundation? How are you going to put the foundation in? Uh, it's a poured in place concrete. So they need to have a concrete washout. A concrete wash. Okay. Basically, after they're done pouring the concrete, you just don't dump it on there. You have to have a put a note on there concrete, provide concrete Got wash. It. Provide. And put a note on the drawing that after the silt fence is installed. You have the wetlands inspector come out and inspect it, okay? Same with when you finish the project, before you remove the sill fence. Got to call him again. He comes inspect the site, gives you the all clear. You can take the sill fence down. Sill fence. Wetlands inspector. Yeah, that project. This is the house. It's Are you going to be having the, is it just going to be, um, you're not going to have a, a concrete truck? Are you going to have a big concrete truck pull up to this? It'll end up being way. a concrete pump. pump. There's pump. no way I'm going to get a uh, gravity feed it. that thing in there. So it's going to be a pump. There's not going to be anybody on the. There's not going to be any big trucks backing up. No. Okay. Yeah. All 
All right. I need a print of it. I'm the drive I'm sorry. Just the driveway, is that elevation, is that higher than the uh, first level of that house? The driveway? Where the catch basin is in the driveway. Yes, yeah, a little, yeah. yeah. The driveway's a little lower. Yep. Yeah. All right. We could protect, crop, can we protect that catch way. basin during construction? Um, yeah, we can put a note on there to put, you know, some sill fencing or some you sort of. You could put sill fencing uh, along the edge of that driveway. Why? I mean, that He's got the whole basin. site captured. He's got yeah, the but whole no, site captured. That, capture, that catch basin's inside of it. Well, what I could do is he's I could doing, put a he's piece got of uh, inlet protection detail. filter fabric on top of yeah, it. So oh, you got filter fabric got filter on. You want to put filter on fabric on? Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, that's protected. Yeah. Excuse me. Thank and just uh, give us a breakdown, of detail of a sequence of operations: the removal, and then you know, we need a fence detail. Just, you got to hose it down as you to minimize dust and stuff. No bales. No hay bales. No hail bales. Except on your uh, on your stockpile, right? What do we typically ask for stockpile? They put hay bales there? He has a detail. No, I know, yeah. but usually with silk fence, we don't want hay bales hanging around with the silk fence. Yeah, did you, you indicated fence. your name and oh, stuff before fence. you started. I'm sorry? You, you identified who you were, Yeah, right? Vinny. Leto. 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 With? Westchester Modular. Okay. We, uh, refresh my memory, hay bales on silk fencing. Yes or no? No. No. You just have to put the silt fence in. Just silt fence. fence. However, on the stockpile area, if you've got like an, if you have a thing that you, you are can showing move them, that. put them, you yeah. can have them in. We, refer, we like to refrain from, traditionally we like to refrain from using as many hay bales as possible. Okay. Don't, like if you don't need them, but with the stockpile, it's a little different, you need to get in and out. All right. And the other thing is, where the boats go. He shows them. Okay. I'm good with this. So just uh, make the changes, resubmit. We'll see, see you in two, two weeks. weeks. Sounds great. Two weeks? What? Uh, yeah. October, first week of October. So is that the, the public hearing? It would be the 4th no. of October. Fourth, now what we would do is we would, you would come in yep. again with your plans. We'd go through, make sure you made all the notes, the corrections, and then uh, we would put you on the clock, and then you would get 30 days on the clock, no comments from the public. You're good to go. Got it. So you're okay. probably looking at the end of November. So I uh, oh, no, end of October. End of October. First week of November. Yeah, for some reason, I think um, uh, when I was talking to Rose, she was saying that I I would come back on I want to say the 18th. So that's why I was kind of confused. Uh, October 18th, like a month. From now. Well, it's 30. If we she if was we probably accepted. if we accepted the application today. Uh, okay. All right. All right. But so there's just I'm things back missing. In two weeks, and then once I add all this stuff on here. And then, and then it's complete. And then it's complete. Then it's Go to the complete, public. Public can inspect one. it at that point. And move okay. forward. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Perfect. We'll see you on the fourth. Bye bye. Okay, uh, we cannot do the meeting minutes because uh, on August 2nd, uh, John was out, so we only have Sorry. three. So that is on hold. With that, um, we have no other business. Uh, do I have a motion to close the meeting? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Good night. Have a nice weekend.